Hi, this is Chloe from Inner Whispers, and today, lovely people, I'm going to be unboxing the Mother Mary Oracle by Alana Fairchild. So let's dig in. So we have a nice sturdy box, and it's quite big. It's kind of like a novel size, I would say. Um, let's have a look at what's inside. And inside we have the Mother Mary Oracle Guide book. Same imagery. And the cards, which are not as big as the deck. Let's take a look at those. So I was originally drawn to this deck because I quite wanted to do something where I would be honouring Mother Mary, the idea of a mother figure, and also because I've had a little bit of a tumultuous relationship with Christianity, that this is part of a way of healing that, to accept Mother Mary into my pantheon, so to speak. And I was attracted to these cards because, as you can see, they're quite, shall we say, warm, um, clearly painted rather than photocollage, and they're not sort of traditional type Christian iconography. And yet the titles, of course, are very much of that ilk. Our Lady of Passion, the one who's on the box and the book cover. Our Lady of Creative Choice. So I'm really enjoying my first impression of this deck, Manifest Miracles. It has a sensuousness to it, but also a clearly spiritual feel. Uh, lovely messages just judging by the titles. Feeding divine presence in our life. Our Lady of the Sacred Sun. So although it doesn't feel like traditional Christian iconography, it does feel very iconic and I quite like that there are quite different aspects of Mother Mary shown here, different ways of seeing her. And most often she has her eyes closed as though she's feeling her way to an answer or seeing through her third eye. Interesting, Our Lady of the Rose Child. Great power. So the cards are quite big. They're very bright and bold. Very strong images. And the titles very much in that Christian theme. Yet Our Lady of the Ocean Rebirth does sound very much goddess-like. And of course, the Mother Mary was brought to the fore by people who wanted to have the Divine Feminine still within their religion. I love the, there's a lot of doves and birds and flowers and very often, oops, sorry, there is also a child and of course the child can be physical child but it can also be the child, our inner child and it can also be the projects that we give birth to. 
So I think that this deck would still work for people who aren't mothers. In many ways you could say that it's always just a woman and a combination of children, birds, flowers, perhaps a few stars. Yet I think with the titles it really does still work quite well, is my gut feeling for, for example, doing a daily draw or for a kind of message from spirit at the end of a tarot reading or for a way of bringing the goddess into your daily life. Beautiful, our lady of comfort. And charity, sacred hearth, and we're back to the start. Let's take a look at the book. So as I say, it's a little bit smaller than most novels, but still a decent size. And looking inside, some nice poetry. An introduction. Some spreads, reading layouts. Past, present, future, the descending dove of grace layout. I quite like that as a seven card spread. And then there's a section on each card. It starts with the kind of voice of the lady, for example, here saying, you are my child, I am your mother, your home through my grace is always secure. That's Our Lady of the Sacred Hearth. Then there's a little description of the situation that you might be in. There are times on our path when we have outgrown our old safety nets. Like a hermit crab that outgrows the little shell and needs to search for a larger home, we must endure a transition that can feel frightening, giving rise to many insecurities. So there's that little guide bit and also a section on healing process and affirmations. Here there's a, a visualisation and then you can say a little prayer. I call upon the Holy Mother Mary, Our Lady of the Sacred Hearth, and I ask for your divine protection, intervention and guidance. It goes on for a little longer, but that's quite nice. So we have that for each of the cards and skipping through. We then have a little section about the author and also about the artist whose name doesn't seem to, oh yes it does appear on the book, on the box. So Alana Fairchild is the author and Shiloh Sophia McLeod as the artist. Um, and it's a Blue Angel deck, so it's the traditional sort of quality that you might expect of that. Uh, with these very nice big cards, you can see how big they are compared to my hand, so they're a goodly size. And very beautiful card images. I shall look forward to working with Our Lady. Blessed be.